بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وحا نوصو دماغي شطر كوباد ست هوم تري وحا نبلاوي لنا شطر كالاواد الجبرا قيب تيس كوباد و graphs in practical situations under this algebra there are three main topics Introductions, we have motion graphs, straight line, and matrices. Our first, sub, our first topic will be graphs in practical uh, situations. Distance, time graph. Distance, time graph. Now the learning outcomes, by the end of the lesson, learners should be able to uh, interpret and use graphs in practical situations, interpret and use conversion graphs, distance time graphs, and uh, interpret in real life situations. Distance time graph, distance is always written in the y axis. So this is distance. And we normally write meters, that is the SI unit. Time in the x-axis. And then you write seconds. Now distance time graph tells us how someone or something has traveled and how long it took them or it do so. Now, these are examples of certain graphs. The first one is a graph that starts at that particular point and then moves straight. If you try to find the gradient, if you try to find the gradient of this line, you get constant gradient. Let's take some points on this line. Let's take some points on the line and uh, when you find the gradient of this line, the gradient of this line, that is gradient is equal to a change in y divided by change in x. Now if you divide, let's say A, B, C, and then D, and then you have some points here. This is the x-axis. Now for me to find the gradient of AB, I have to divide a change in y divided by change in x. So that is my change in y. Change in y, that is, call this one, uh, let's say this particular point is E and then F. You say AE divided by, call this one PQRS. PQR and S. So AE divided by AB. These two lines is EF, the second one, EF divided by PQ or QP. The last one is, let's call that to point uh, M or K. So we say F, KF divided by QR or RQ. So you will get constant gradient. The gradient will be constant. The gradient will be constant. So that is the first one. The second one is, the, the first one, the gradient is positive because it is moving that way. Uh, the second one, the gradient is negative, decreasing speed, that is decreasing speed. So changing y divided by changing x, Changing y divided by changing x, this one is decreasing speed. And this one is increasing speed. The next one is constant gradient. The, this one, the gradient is negative. The third one, the gradient is zero. This is a state of rest, that is. State of rest or stationary, that is. So if you find the gradient of this particular line, let's take this as, let's take, 
call this one A, and then say one, two, and then three. For me to find the gradient of this line, for this particular point A, let's say we have one, three, B, we have two, three. So the gradient will be equal to uh, change in y divided by change in x. So three minus three divided by two minus one, and then you get zero divided by one, the answer becomes now uh, zero. So the gradient is zero. That is the second, the third graph. The fourth graph is, the first one is increasing, and then the, it first of all starts with increasing, and then it slows down. So the gradient here is positive, and then when it comes to that, this one changes now to negative because it's coming down. The next one is increasing speed. The increasing speed. If you try to find the speed, you get, first of all, you draw tangent lines. You draw tangent lines to find the gradient. So change in y, divide by change in x. This one, you always get uh, the gradient is positive and it is increasing. The last one, the last one, increasing, uh, this one is decreasing speed, this one is also increasing speed. This one is increasing speed, increasing speed, and this one is decreasing, decreasing speed. Now key points to remember, the gradient of the line is always equal to the speed. The gradient of the line is always equal to the speed. So that one is the speed. The gradient is the speed. The flat region, that one is state of rest. This is rest. This is constant speed. That is D against T. This is constant. And then this is coming back, coming back or return, coming back or return. So therefore this one is decreasing speed. Negative gradient, the gradient of this line is negative. The gradient of this line is positive. And this one, the gradient of this horizontal line is zero. The speed tells us the rate at which uh, an object moves. Example. Examine this graph carefully. That is the, that is the graph. Uh, question number one reads, uh, what is the track displacement from its starting point after 10 seconds? After 10 seconds, after 10 seconds, it will be uh, 300 meters. Uh, after 10 seconds, it will be 300 meters. 15 seconds, 15 seconds, just go where 15 is. 15 is between 10 and 20, and then you draw a line. That line will be again, uh, 15 seconds will be again 300 meters. 15 seconds will be 300 uh, meters. Uh, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, is 200, 30 seconds is 200 meters, 30 seconds is 200 meters, 50 seconds, 50 seconds is 800 meters, 
50 seconds is 800 meters. Example number two. Example number two. The speed time graph shows a 50 second car journey. Calculate the total distance traveled over the 50 seconds. Now, total distance, total distance is equal to area under the curve. Area under the curve. Total distance is equal to area under the curve. Now that is the graph. Uh, this graph is something like this. Let me just draw it on the board. We have up to there we have 50, no 15, I'm sorry. Uh, we have that horizontal line, which is there we have 10, there we have 20, and then that line, up to that line is 25, and then this is return or coming down. So there we have we have 30, and then lastly 50. This is 40. Now let's find, let's try to find the area of the first one. We subdivide, we subdivide, we subdivide, so A, A will be equal to, since this one is a triangle, you just write a half base times height. So a half times the base is 10, times the height which is 15. Therefore you get by 2, 1 by 2, 5, you get 7, 5. 7, 5 meters. Meter squared. So the next one, A2 or B. B is a rectangle, so it will be the difference is 10 here. And then this height is 15, so this is a rectangle, it is LB. So this will be 10 multiplied by 15, you get 150 meters squared. C, that one, this one is shape of a trapezium. This is the shape of trapezium. So this is my A and this is B and this becomes the height. If I try to remove this one, it will be something like this. It will be something like that. So therefore this side is 15, this side is 25, and then my height will be equal to 10. So area will be equal to a half H into bracket A plus B. Therefore this will be a half multiplied by height which is 10 into bracket 15 plus 20. 15 plus 25, sorry. So this will be 5, by 2, 1 by 2 is 5. You get 5 multiplied by the addition of these two, you get 40. So 40 multiplied by 5, you get 200. 200 uh, meters squared. That is the area of that. Then lastly, D. D is also, this one is a triangle. So we have the base will be 20 and then the height will be 25. So a half multiplied by the base, which is 20, the base is 20, that is 50 minus 30 multiplied by the height, which is 25. You get by 2, 1 by 2 is 10, 10 multiplied by 25, you get 250 meters squared. So we are told to find the total distance. We said the total distance is equal to area under the curve, so we add all this. So total distance, total distance will be equal to the submission of all this, so that will be 75 plus 150 plus 200 and then plus 250. So this is 225. 225 plus 450, you get, uh, you get uh, 675 meters. 675 meters. So that is the distance, the total distance covered. That is the total distance covered. B, find which section of the graph has the greatest speed. The greatest speed, uh, we have 
a and the last part so the greatest speed is a we try to find the greatest speed we say that the first one is a half base multiplied by the height which is 10 multiplied by 15 there we got 75 uh, the next one that is by 2 1 by 2 is 5 the next one also c the greatest speed b the speed is 0 uh, c the speed will be a half multiplied by the base which is 10 multiplied by the height the height is the difference between 25 and 15 you get 10 so therefore you get by 2 1 by 2 is 5 you get 50 meters uh, 50 meters squared i'm sorry that's another meter squared and then so the the greatest speed will be a a has the greatest speed a has the greatest speed a has the greatest speed Question number three, Billy drove 60 kilometers from his home to Liverpool. He stopped and visited his friend Ali on the way. So that is the graph for Billy. And then you are asked, question number one reads, work out Billy's speed for the first part of his journey. The first part of his journey is the distance he traveled from he, the, the, the time he traveled was 13 uh, up to 14, that is one hour. And then the height, that is the distance, which is 30 kilometers. So therefore the speed for this one, that, that will be equal to distance divided by time taken. Distance divided by time taken. So the speed, the speed is distance divided by time taken. The distance is 30. And then the time taken is one hour. So we have kilometers there, and then this we have one hour. So this one becomes 30 kilometers per hour. 30 kilometers per hour. Question two, how long did Billy spend visiting Ali? That is the rest time. He was there for, uh, that is between 14 to 15 is one hour, and then half of 15 to 16 that is 30 minutes he, st he, he was there for one hour and 30 minutes that is question number b one hour and 30 minutes c work out billet speed for the last part of his journey the last part of his journey uh, that is c speed is equal to again distance divided by time taken the distance is 40, 60 minus 30, you get 30. And then the time taken will be, that is uh, 30 minutes, plus one hour, you get one hour and 30 minutes. So one hour and 30 minutes is the same as one and a half hours. One and a half hours, that will be 30 divided by three, divided by two. Three divided by two means you change this one to, impro uh, to improper fraction. So this multiplied, you just multiply, you say two times 30, or 30 times two divided by three, by 3, 1 by 3 is 10. 10 times 2, you get 20 meters per second. 20 kilometers, I'm sorry, per hour. I'm sorry, this is 20 kilometers per hour. Uh, I'll stop it there. I therefore uh, request students to do the exercise on the link below. <laughs>